Today, in the world of mixed martial arts, it is increasingly said that another era of first-class athletes is leaving. Tony Ferguson, Edson Barbosa, Jose Aldo, Rafael Dos Anjos, Conor McGregor and many others, unfortunately, will soon be forced to end their professional careers. Age makes itself felt. Some MMA legends on whose battles the Generation Z grew up are already well over 30. And martial arts legends no longer need to prove anything to anyone. For many, the main task today is to earn as much money as possible and retire with peace of mind. Unfortunately, not everyone has this opportunity, but not Conor McGregor. Probably every athlete from the world of sports dreams of fighting this guy. To earn a carefree old age, Conor McGregor continues to recover from a broken leg he sustained in his fight against Dustin Poirier and plans to return to the octagon this summer. Upon his return to the octagon, Conor still plans to claim the UFC championship belt, but not in the lightweight category. According to the Irishman, in his next fight, he expects to challenge welterweight title holder Kamaru Usman. Recently, Conor said in an interview, The Mac Live, I cut calories, now I am in my natural state, and I can become even more. I like myself at the welterweight, I did a great job at 170 with the right preparation and a full training camp. That's how it was in the rematch with Diaz and the fight with Cerrone. These were probably my best performances in the UFC octagon that I have had without being in a calorie deficit. I believe that in the next fight I should fight Camaro Usman. This is the fight that I am looking forward to at the moment. I feel big, strong, healthy and full of energy. Coming back from a terrible injury and I don't know what to exhaust myself. It is not necessary, I will feel confident against Usman. This clumsy wrestled with a mediocre jab and no submissions. What will he do? Where is he dangerous? I don't see any danger in it, Connor said in the interview. According to available information, Camaro Usman's next opponent should be Leon Edwards, who occupies the third line in the division. UFC president Dana White has already said that the title fight will be scheduled as soon as the Nigerian nightmare recovers from surgery on his arm. But time passes, and Connor needs to go back and win some kind of high-profile fight to get his face back. In the interview with the Mac Live, Connor said that he wants to do this first for himself and for his fans in order to please everyone who supports him. Training's gone great, the leg is bouncing back, the body is strong, my energy levels are high, you know, I'm getting this hunger to be committed, you know, so everything's moving in the right direction. Uh, at the right time also, yeah. you know what I mean? So I'm excited to go, yeah. but I want, I, you know, I'm gonna be true to myself. Yeah. I'm gonna be bring, bringing out the best of myself, you know what I mean? So I wanna do, I'm gonna do this for my fans, you know what I mean? I'm doing this for the people that are supporting me, you know what I mean? So I want to show up the best I can possibly be, and I will, I will be. Uh, people, I, I think people may wish that I'm, that I would just say goodbye, you know? <laughs> Maybe there is a bit of that, and then there is the people that would, not, would, would do it that way also, your way, what you were saying. I'm sure it's a bit of both, for sure. Yeah. Excited. I'm very like excited. I'm very excited. There's, 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 there's history to be made. The game is to be shook up again. The Triple Crown has never been done. It'll never be done in my lifetime. No one will do this in my lifetime. You know what I mean? To win three. If I, it's not if, when I knock Kamara Usman out at 170. That'll be three UFC World Titles won, moving upward with three knockouts. Yeah. I knocked out Aldo, I knocked out Alvarez and knock out Kamara Usman. Three knockouts, three world titles, three weights going up. Champ, champ, champ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll figure out something more catchy. I'll let, I'll let, you know, I'll let, I'll figure out a catchy one for the ball. I think this is the wrong fight for Conor. His leg, the last two defeats, it will affect him in the fight. And I feel that if this fight takes place, if Dana White allows it, if he loses, this will be a fat point in Conor's career. Conor McGregor, oh my goodness, guys. This is a genius at work, period. When Connor is gone, you are going to feel it. You will know that MMA was more fun when he was here. And if you would study him, he will be able to leave MMA in a better position than he found it, but only if you study it. You gotta see what's going on. This is a chess player. He says, Kamara Usman. <laughs> Why? Why did he say Kamara Usman? If he can get a world title fight, what's the difference, by the way? If Conor McGregor gets to come back for a world title fight, just anywhere, just blindly, this is Conor, here you go. Every champion wants to do it, Conor's willing to do it, send him off. Why not Usman? 
And Connor weighed in on that. He said that Usman was too old. He said that Usman's hands aren't good enough. He said Usman's ground and pound isn't vicious enough. And then he spoke about himself, which says nobody's captured three championships all by knockout, which I will do when I knock Usman out. Now, you think that's simple? You think you've seen it all? You haven't. Let's pull the curtain back and I'll tell you what Connor's really doing. Go back to the previous point that I just made that if Connor was to come in for a world title fight against Oliveira and or Gaethje, coming off of two losses, a meaningful amount of time since he had a victory, I don't even know, not to mention a break, there's going to be a level of pushback. Now, how do you make that pushback go away? Now Connor's gonna go up and believe me, Team Usman will take the bait. You have no choice. Everybody wants to fight Conor McGregor. Red Panty Night is a real thing. I know that many of you don't agree with my opinion when I say that he needs some kind of high-profile fight, like a boxing fight with Jake Paul, where he has a big chance to beat the YouTuber, to somehow save his face. Currently, I don't think Conor stands a chance against other UFC fighters, and because of that, I think that today Conor and Jake Paul are on the same level. Yes, I understand. This is not Usman or Oliveira or Adesanya, but this will be a victory, because he needs victory like a human needs air. But Dana White categorically rejected the possibility that Conor McGregor could fight the blogger Jake Paul, who challenged the Irishman to a duel according to MMA rules. Recently, Dana White gave an interview to Jake Paul's brother Logan. And White said, Do you think your brother can make 170 pounds? 77 kilograms? Not? I thought so. And this is not the best option for Conor to fight at welterweight. He fought at 170 with Nate Diaz, and that's clearly not his weight class, he said to Logan. But for Jake, that's not a problem. He's so obsessed with the idea of testing his strength and increasing the audience that he will try to drive off almost 20 kilograms. And for Connor, this is another chance bestowed by fate. The Irishman does not need to look for opponents, they themselves ask for a fight with him. And if the era of Connor has already passed in the UFC, since the new tops in the person of Makachev, Darius, and Oliveira will simply eat the Irishman who has a piece of metal in his leg. Then, in boxing, McGregor has a chance to win and earn a lot of money much more than what the UFC has to offer. So for today, only Jake Paul can make McGregor happy. I am sure that he has a great chance to beat Jake, and not to take advantage of this chance will be a major lapse in his career for Conor. In 2017, Conor did not have a single fight in mixed martial arts, but he made his debut in boxing. Moreover, he made his debut in one of the biggest fights in the history of this sport. Having last 10 rounds in the ring with Floyd Mayweather, McGregor earned 30 million and provided for himself for many years to come. The Irish decided not to stop there. In addition, the Irishman had another opportunity to epically take away the lightweight belt from the undefeated Russian. But the Irishman squeezed the maximum out of this story. He turned the battle for the belt into the biggest personal confrontation in the history of mixed martial arts. The main fight in the life of Conor and Habib, and in truth, of the whole MMA world, took place on October 6, 2018. McGregor, as you know, was defeated, but earned a few million dollars and increased his popularity several times over. Many say that after UFC 229, Conor never managed to become the same. Yes, few people can compete with him in courageousness. After a year and a half of inactivity, after the fight with Khabib, McGregor returned to the octagon and defeated Donald Cerrone with his shoulder. The king is back. The king is back, shouted the fans. But the king came and went. Last year, we saw the beginning of the end in McGregor's career. Two losses to Dustin Poirier and the broken leg will not go unnoticed. Yes, the taste of money intoxicates. Connor has a lot of money, but, as the hero of one cartoon said, infinity is not the limit. Only blogger Jake Paul can help the Irishman become even richer. Now, Dana subsequently goes on what I believe is called Impulsive, but it's Logan Paul's podcast. And Dana spoke about this, and he and Dana said, man, the Paul brothers are big. Jake Paul's 210, six foot one. Conor McGregor was a 145 pounder at one point. These guys are just too big. So Dana gets in a conversation with Logan, who is serving as a surrogate to his brother, Jake. And Logan was very honest. Dana said, can he get to 170? That's the highest Conor's ever fought. Can your brother get to 170? And Logan said, no. He said, but he can get to 175. So you're gonna have to spot us five pounds because the conversation, it wasn't no by Dana. Everything that's ever come out of Paul's mouth has been no by Dana. This wasn't no, it wasn't yes, but it wasn't no. And Dana's now asking some of these questions. How low can he get? Now Dana's either trying to book a fight and start in the negotiation, or he's looking to not do the fight, but proving his point of why. That's open for interpretation. 
we won't know what came out of Dana's mouth. But when this was first put out there, Brendan thought Dana's going to have to listen. I am with Brendan thinking Dana's going to have to listen. And now you've got Dana, who appears to be listening. And this is a fact. This is the harsh truth that Connor fans won't like. And there was a time where I was also a Connor fan as well. And to be honest, I also miss the battles of Connor. Like a million fans of this crazy sport, I sincerely wish him victory, in which more and more people already doubt. Comment what you think about it. And if you like this video, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.